Okay, here are our instructions for our phonics pages 171 and 172. Go ahead and get your phonics pages out and you can work on these with me. So at the top, a number one, what we need to do is we need to read the words that they've given us and then match the word to the corresponding picture. So the first word is C-R-Y. We have the C and the R, which says cr, and then the Y that says I, cry. So I need to connect cry to the picture of the girl crying. The next picture, I have S-W-I-M. S-W says sw, the I is going to say I, and the M is going to say M. Sw, I, M. Swim. So over here I can see that this guy is swimming. I need to draw a line to him. Now I have the third word. It's S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E the two E's mean the first E will say its name, and that second E is going to be silent. So I have st r e t street, and that's the word that's directly underneath. The last word I have C-R, I'm sorry, S-C-R, U B only one vowel. The vowel will say its short sound, so it's sk r ub skr ub scrub. And I'll connect it to this one. Okay. For number two, what I need to do is I need to mark the vowels and draw a picture of each word. I'm not going to circle the special sounds. If you want to circle the special sounds, you may. Um, the special sounds are just blends. Um, we're not going to circle them most of the time, so I wouldn't worry about it. Just worry about the vowels, okay? So they've done the first one for me. They've circled the ST, which you don't need to do normally, and ST says st. Then we have the O that's going to say its name because it has a line over it, and the V and an E that's silent. St. O. -v. So I need to draw a picture of a stove. And you guys can do a nice picture with your pencils. My stove is not that great, but you get the idea. Okay, the next word, I have a B, R, a U, and an S, H. I only have one vowel, so the vowel is going to get the smile over it. The word is br, a, sh, brush. So I'll just make a picture of a brush really quick does it need to be fancy no i'm more concerned if you can read the word and mark your vowels the first word that word is brush okay down here i have only one vowel in this word so i know the vowel is going to get a smile and let's go back and read it frog frog oh i don't know if i can draw a frog too well so let's see how he turns out here Okay, he's kind of got some big legs there. That's not too bad, huh? So there's my frog. It kind of looks like a butterfly. And the last word, I have an S in, an A, an I, and an L. Well, I have two vowels together. I have a vowel team. I have an A and an I. Well, I know the A is going to say its name, and the I is going to be silent, so I need to mark it like that. The word is snail. And you guys can go ahead and draw a picture of a snail here. My snail will not be very good, but that's okay. Here's his body, and here's his head. Okay, so on page 172, what we're going to do is we're going to try and put these words in the box, in the colored box, into order so that we have a sentence that matches the picture. Okay, so they give me two words. It says d a n dan f -e -l. dan fell. And the words in the box are the on steps. So I don't want to write Dan fell the on steps. That makes no sense. I want to write Dan fell on the steps. They've already given me a period at the end of the sentence, so it's not necessary for me to add the period. They've given it to me right there, okay? So the next one. This time I have a picture of a girl, and she's looks like she's playing in some mud, okay? So the two words they give me already are m-egg, meg, m-aid, 
made, Meg made pie a mud. So what I want to do is I want to figure out how I can make this a sentence that makes sense. Meg made pie a mud. That doesn't make sense. How about a mud pie. I think that sounds like a great sentence. And that's what our friend Meg is doing. She is making a mud pie. Meg made a mud pie. That's all you need to do. If you want to color the pictures, you may color the pictures.